Okay, dear students. So there is there are already so many things I have written on the screen for this particular question. Let us read this question first. The diagram shows two current carrying wires that is P and Q and both lie in the same plane. The arrow shows the conventional current direction in the wires. So first of all, I want to point out here that there are two type of currents. One is known as conventional, another is known as electronic current. And I hope you know it. In conventional current, the current is moving from the positive terminal of the battery. So it shows the direction of the positive charge. So now when it is written conventional current, it means the direction of the movement of the positive charges inside the wire is given. So it is not the direction of the electrons because that becomes the opposite direction. Be very particular about this. Later on, let us move ahead. The electromagnetic force on Q is in the same plane as that of the wires. What is the direction of electromagnetic force that acts on Q? So in this question, I tell you, there are two different phenomena that are taking place. So the first phenomena is there is a magnetic field that is being produced by a wire P in which the current is flowing. So the current in wire P can be taken to be the source current, the current which is a source of magnetic field, which is creating a magnetic field. So part one of problem, part one of this problem is what is the direction of the magnetic field that is produced by the wire P? And for that, as I have already told you many times now, that instead of uh, Fleming's right hand rule or left hand rule, I prefer using right hand palm rule, which is far more easier, less confusing and more effective. So please try to search this on Google or I am teaching you here. So if you are capable to understand, please do uh, concentrate here now. So right hand palm rule is of three types. It can be used in three different variations. So the first variation is to find the direction of magnetic field produced by the current carrying conductor which is actually the first part of our question. Now, I have explained this law here first. So what is happening is we have our right hand here and I place my thumb in the direction of the current that is P. So my thumb will be pointing there and my fingers will be pointing towards the location of the other wire, which is Q. So I am pointing, like I'm keeping my hand like this so I, my thumb is towards the current in P and my fingers are towards the location of Q. So my palm is towards, my palm is into the board. It is looking towards the laptop. So I will say that the magnetic field here is into the board. So this first thing is very clear. Thumb in the direction of current, fingers point towards the point where the magnetic field is to be found. And palm in this case is always finding the unknown variable, whatever it is. In this case, it is the direction of B. And this is what we have done till now. I'm sorry for my speed because the time is very less. Now, next is point two. That is this. These are the two laws that we have discussed. Now, the second is finding the direction of a force on the charged particle. It can be a charged particle like electron, proton, alpha or it is the current carrying conductor which is supposed to be running positive charge in charges in the wire. So we can find the force on them because of the type 2. So what is happening in this type 2 rule is fingers will be pointing towards the direction of the magnetic field number one, thumb in the direction of the current in the second wire and palm will tell you the force, the direction of the force which the current carrying conductor will experience. So let us apply the second uh, type of the rule with our right hand now. So what is happening is fingers in the magnetic field. So as we know that the magnetic field is into the board. So I am keeping my hand like this. So my fingers are pointing into the board now and my thumb must be pointing towards the direction of the current in the wire Q in the wire Q should be my thumb should be pointing towards that and my fingers are pointing towards the my laptop which is the direction of the magnetic field and so my palm is up so the wire will be experiencing a force in the upward direction so I think I'm pretty clear uh, in this um, explanation now so this will be the direction of the force so A should be the answer and according to the mark scheme A 